Uh, Madam Secretary, in receiving Planned Parenthood's founder Margaret Sanger's award on, in Houston on March 27th, you said that you were, quote, in awe of Margaret Sanger. You said that Singer's life and leadership was one of the most transformational in the entire history of the human race, and that Sanger's work both here and abroad was not done, quote, unquote. With all due respect, Madam Secretary, Sanger's legacy was indeed transformational, but not for the better if one happens to be poor, disenfranchised, weak, disabled, a person of color, an unborn child, or among the many so-called undesirables, Sanger would exclude and exterminate from the human race. Sanger's prolific writings drip with contempt for those she considers to be unfit to live. I've actually read many of Sanger's articles and her books. Sanger was an unapologetic eugenicist. Your remarks last, last month when you called Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, a person whom you enormously remire, admire, were stunning to me. Uh, Margaret Sanger clearly embraced bigotry and racism. She advocated for the elimination of the disabled, the downtrodden, and the black child. In one of her writings, she said, today, eugenics is suggested by the most diverse minds as the most adequate and thorough avenue to the solution of racial, political, and social problems. Congressman, let me say with respect to uh, your comments about Margaret Sanger, you know, I admire Thomas Jefferson. I admire his words and his leadership, and I deplore his unrepentant slaveholding. I admire Margaret Sanger being a pioneer in trying to empower women to have some control over their bodies and I deplore statements that you have referenced that is the way we often are when we look at flawed human beings there are things that we admire and things we deplore we have for eight years followed the policy that you have described and I think we've gone backwards we've gone backwards in the real genuine care that we have given to women I admire you for raising five strong daughters who will be able to make their own choice and most likely given your guidance will be very staunchly pro-life but that is a choice that they will be able to exercise as free independent american women that's what i want for all women time of the gentleman has expired uh, the um, gentlelady from california ambassador watson is recognized for mr chairman i really want to thank you for providing